Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I've not been well, obviously. That's why I've been um, AWOL, but um, is that what it's called? Or, no, MIA. AWOL is away without leave. No, I've been MIA, missing in action. It doesn't matter, I've been missing. But um, I've, I've really, really been sick. I had um, UTI, I, got, I had a lot of infection. Three rounds of antibiotics. Um, sleeping for five, six days. Um, just they kept trying to get me going to the hospital and I wouldn't and maybe I should have because then I end up telling my husband, Hey, you gotta take me to the hospital so I should have just listened a long time ago. But anyway, I'm I'm feeling a bit better. I'm not hundred percent, but I'm really trying. I don't want to quit YouTube. I don't want to. I wanna keep going and please you guys don't give up on me. Just just give me time to heal my old body. But but anyway, um I have some BDIYs today. I hope you all enjoy the video. I'm going to try to have one next week and just get back on the schedule, but, um, I'm, I don't know, I don't know what to do, you guys. I don't know what to do. It's the rest of my life, and, um, that's why I don't work a regular job now. But, anyway, just, um, don't give up on me, guys, and, um, give me a thumbs up if, um, you like the content, and, uh, I'll see you next video. Bye. Okay, y'all, right here, I'm going to take some of those calendars with that little post that I marked the year of the calendar and try to let you know what little thing I'm doing because I've got all these with all these cute things on it and I never use them. And I get so, ah, I gotta get them, gotta get them, and for what? But anyway, I know y'all have seen these being used a gazillion times in B stuff. But I'm going to do it, too. So, anyway, I'm going to try to be as chipper as can be. And <laughs> we can have some fun. But, anyway, <laughs> I don't know. It's so corny. Um, oh, I'm going to, um, yeah, take that frame off these two little things here. Miss Jackie Corn sent them to me. And I'm going to miss some water on them. Now, when that paper is still on there heavy, it's harder to scrape that off. Um, just let it set longer. If you get the top paper off, then the bottom paper comes off like a gym. Anyway, so I'm just going to use my my scraper here thing, my giant scraper I got from Timu. And I'm going to scrape all that paper off. And I'm going to take my heat tool. You can take your hair dryer, put on high, high heat, and um, blow dry that. Heat dry, whatever. Get that moisture out of there. Then I'm going to sand it. <clears throat> Of course, you guys know I'm extra. I got to do all the stuff. And then I'm going to take some wood glue and I'm going to mush them together. And, um, yeah, I'm going to spread out that wood glue um, to try to get it cover all the edges and stuff real good. I just don't want one line then mushed up, mashed out everywhere because I always make a mess. But anyway, um, now I'm going to take that cottage white chalk paint by Folk Work. And I'm going to paint the whole thing white. Now, I got, got those bead lids from boxes a couple years ago. was going to use them. Never did use them in uh, some things. But anyway, um, I'm going to paint that one. I don't know why I even painted it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Anyway, no, I don't. But anyway, here I'm going to trace trace one of them out um, in my little hole there. And um, that thing is wonky. It's not like a... Yeah, it's wonky. Anyway, y'all will see. So, you got to put it in there just right. But I cut it out with my finger knife. And I'm going to put it in there. And, and I sanded it. Put it in there and make sure it fits. So, after it fits, I'm going to take the rest of that box. going to take pieces of it. And I'm going to um <clears throat> cut them down and glue them to the back of... Y'all don't know why I use my knife. I can just use scissors. And glue them down to the back of my little... uh box part here I cut off so anyway I'm just measuring it to see how short I need it there and trying to get it to match up with the edges and then I'm gonna hot glue it on there and I don't know why I showed y'all all that but I did um yeah I keep going between um con master and iMovie and I like con master because you can go fast 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 but then iMovie has stuff that I like and I'm not very good in either one of them but hey I'm trying and, uh, anyway, just showing you that I'm going to put more, more around that. Yeah, I could have just said I put it around the edge. But anyway, I got to stick it down in there. So, you got to get it just right. 
I'm going to um, measure the back here and see how much of those I need to cut off because I want it to be flush in there. Y'all know what I mean. And I'm just going to take my scissors and trim that excess off. And make sure it's stabilized with glue. And then I'm going to paint it. See, I don't know why that one was even... Oh, I know why I painted it white. You'll see. Duh. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to paint that one black. And I'm going to paint those little things in that mustard yellow. And I'm going to take that. That's that's a bigger one off the back of the calendar. And I think that is adorable. And um, I think it says... I don't remember what it says, y'all. Gee whiz. It's been... I've done this so long ago. I've done it two weeks ago or something. But it says, honey... I don't know what it says. I, I can make something up, but then I'm just going to be a liar. But anyway, I'm going to set that aside to dry, and I want to take this beautiful, beautiful napkin. And I think, I can't, I don't remember if uh, Deborah Broussard or Diane Cassidy sent it to me, but it's gorgeous either way. Or it may have been, no, I don't, I think it was one of the two of them. Anyway, I'm going to decoupage that on. Make sure you get both of your um, plies off there. How many ever plies you got? You might have two, one, three, you know. And then I just grabbed that piece of plastic thing there, and I just rubbed it down with that, and it really works. And now I'm, like, addicted to using um, plastic things that's laying around. Um, yeah. So I just put a light coat of Mod Podge all over all of it, and I'm going to... Take that thing and lay it on there and rub it down real good to rub the wrinkles out of it because I don't want any wrinkles in it. And then the excess, I'm not going to quite sand off yet because I'm going to uh, take my scissors and cut off. And I'm going to put on those white spaces where the napkin wouldn't fit. And the napkin's so busy after it dries. The napkin's so busy that you could blend it together and not even tell. But I, I, where I Mod Podge my little honey, my calendar piece on that piece that I cut out... Is. I'm just going to cut the excess off it, and I'm going to trace it out on the white bee box that I paint. Oh, my bee box. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, um, oh, I cut pieces here, and I like lined it across the back of my, I know I sound like, um, I don't know, Kermit the Frog or something. Anyway. I lined it across the back of my thing there because when I put the back on, I don't want it to smash down in there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll show you. I don't know. I do stuff, y'all. And I know y'all's like, I'm not going to do that if I recreate this. She just too much. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. There. There's where I had the extra piece. And then I put a layer of Mod Podge all across the top of my little uh, flower there. That's what it's supposed to be like. Playing off a of flower and the bee thing with the honeycomb, you know, because I'm so dang smart. Yeah, then I sanded it off. And now I'm going to put my piece in there. And, um, y'all, it fit almost perfect. Um, and there's those pieces I, I ran across, and I'm just going to take and hot glue. <clears throat> That extra piece there that I cut off in, because I got to cover up that ugly. I do not want that to be seen. But anyway, yeah, I just run me some hot glue all over my little things there and place my back on it. And there it is. Boop. There it is. Um, It's not perfect, but it looks better. And then I'm just going to run hot glue all in my cracks there. <clears throat> and anyway. So then I'm going to take... Oh, then I'm going to put my frame on there, My and I just take wood glue and put it all over both of them and put them on. They didn't quite match up like how I would wanted them to, like match up perfect, in it, but oh well, it worked. It's cute. So that's what we did. Then I clamped it down, and then I'm going to take some macrame cord, and I'm going to um, go around... Because there was like one little gap or something like that, and it was just eating me alive, and I just couldn't deal with it. So I wrapped my cord around the inside of it, and um, it looks good. It's cute, y'all, I think. And here, when I was doing this, thank goodness I cut it out because I didn't want to traumatize any children. But I literally put a staple through my first index finger, and it hit the back of my nail. 
And I was like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to hot glue some little bees on there that I got from Amazon. They have them at the Dollar Trees, but not my Dollar Trees. But anyway, I've had these for a couple years. I'm just going to glue me some bees on there. But y'all, it hurt. But the worst part about it was looking at it and seeing the staple deep in my finger. And I had to pull it out. That just cringed me. I was like, oh. But, um... Because I was trying to see if I could do it with the regular stapler. And I was using that pink one in case any of y'all didn't have, like, this kind of staple. Well, anyway, you can do it, but you just don't staple your finger. And I got mad, and I, I didn't do it no more. So I just used that one because my finger was hurting. But anyway, <laughs> there it is, y'all. Honey bees and flowers, please. I think that is just real cute. I do, I do. And I, and I hope y'all like it, too. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Man, this weather's just going to get me sick again. I'm going up with pneumonia this time, y'all. I can't even. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Okay, I got one of those little breadboards from the Dollar Tree. And that sticker, man, I like to never got that off. That thing gave me absolute fits. But I'm going to sand it down because they could be a little bit rough. And um, I'm going to paint... The front half in cashew, this is going to be double-sided. And the thing is, in the back half in uh, rust on and white chalk paint, I was going to make most of these double-sided, but, y'all, I just felt too bad, and I just, like, I was downstairs. Look how red my nose is. I was downstairs, and I'm like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to take that piece of that calendar right there. I don't stop. I don't stop when I'm sick, and I think that's why. I stay more sick instead of just if I just take time to take care of myself. Um, I don't want pity. That's not what it is. Trust me, y'all. But I do think if I would, that maybe I'd heal fat. I don't know. My immune system's shot. But anyway, I, like I said, they said they weren't going to give me any more antibiotics. I'm telling y'all my business. Most of y'all know it anyway. Um, but they're like, we're going to have to try to do something. So they did finally give me antibiotics, and then it didn't work, and more antibiotics, and it didn't work, and more antibiotics. <laughs> Anyway, oh no, I could sneeze on you and heal you if you had something. But anyway, I um am going to take those little stir sticks. I got those from the Walmart. Um, if I were y'all, I would just like use some popsicle sticks. I wouldn't go buy the those things are just too expensive, like four dollars. And I know four dollars isn't a whole lot, but four dollars can be a whole lot. I mean, well, I was gonna say you could buy, but you can only get a head of cabbage. But I want some funyuns the other day. They were five dollars a bag. I'm like, uh, uh, no, that is ridiculous. Oh, anyway, so I cut out that little pig from that one calendar. I'm so sorry, and I'm gonna mod podge it on the backside there. I didn't say anything about what I was doing. I apologize. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Sorry as can be. Anyway, so I put those stir sticks. I uh, across the frame there, but I'm going to take and I'm going to paint them in the um, uh, da, 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 moss chalk paint by Waverly because that picture there has a little bit of green in it. And but I wish I honestly wish I would have just uh kept the black. So, mm. and I just take a piece of cardstock there and lay it down and make some lines. I want it to look all rustic and stuff and. Mm. Trying to decorate my house and going to change things up and trying to figure out what to do. But, um, I don't know. But, anyway. But, in the summertime, I'm going to use bees in my kitchen. I love the little bee. I'm allergic as all get out, but I love them. The, the, the decor's cute. That's the only thing I like. If I see a bee outside, I'm going to run like some murderers chasing me with an axe. I'm serious. But, anyway. So, I take those little stir sticks again and I um, <laughs> run them up my little breadboard and I'm going to cut them. Like, I even, like, I okay, I put it, like, framed it in, but just the top and bottom. It's the same thing I did to the front. But I'm going to, like, okay, you see that one. That one's, but I did that one. I even cut, like, the the arch out of it there, you see? And I even pieced some together, I think. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, and I traced out where I needed to lay it, so... I want to make sure I laid it in the right spot. And I hot glued it down. And I painted it black. And then I, all of it, even the the 
the ones going around it. But then I end up painting the black on my picture didn't match the black, my black chalk paint. So I painted the picture. I know I'm too much. Anyway, I'm going to take a little bee. I'm going to stick it on the front of here. And I'm going to take and make two little jute bows. There it is, y'all. That is my, um, it was a chicken rub. And a lot of, so many of y'all ask about it. I've redone it and stuff. It did have that, like, burlap thing around it. But, yeah, it's just a little seasoning thing. And then the, uh, the jute from the, the motor section or whatever car section, I don't know what it is. And I run it up through that hole. I put, um... Yeah, see, and I burn a spot out so I can snap my lid shut so my jute just don't. But that's what I did, y'all. Is that confusing? I know I'm supposed to show y'all some of my stuff, and I haven't. But look, look, there, y'all ain't seen her in a while, so I thought I'd let her. She keeps pulling my hand. She wants me to sit down. She jumped up on the back of my chair. I should have showed y'all that. She's knocked me out of my chair and everything. She's crazy. I love her. She just turned two, y'all. Her and Abby both just had a birthday in April. Anyway, here's Abby Lynn, but... Here it is, and I'm just going on and on, and I hope y'all, I put a little bit of green down the side of it, and, you know, I'm not too fond of it. <laughs> I don't like it, but anyway, I thought I would, and I don't, but I do like the pig side. I think the pig side's cute, but I don't like the bee side, but anyway, it is what it is. You know, maybe just because I wasn't feeling good, I just think, you know, ain't got my groove or something, I don't know. So, y'all. All of these, I'm just, instead of just painting one at a time, all these little things, that had a little succulent in it. I'm going to paint them <clears throat> all black at the same time. You see? You see? All of them. Yep. Just going to take the plastic sole off of them. We're going to sand them down. That one, as soon as I took the plastic off, it fell apart. And then, like, it fell out. And I was like, oh, dude, cool. I don't have to pry it out. But then my frame was torn. It, or broke thorn. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to sand it all down. Mm. And I got a little picture frame there from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you remember those little square things. They had succulents in them. They had triangle and square. Anyway. So, yeah. I'm going to paint them black. And I'm going to do them one at a time. And those beads right there. Oh, I can't remember who sent me those. Anyway, I'm going to paint them all vintage mustard. Or did I buy them? Huh. I don't remember. Anyway, I know Pat Boyer sent me some. I think Shirley Gutierrez sent me some, too. Might have been from one of them. Anyway, I'm going to paint that one in dusk. And I'm going to take that little um calendar piece. See it? It's a beehive. You know, it's not really my color, but I think, oh, it's cute, so let's just use it. And I'm going to put it down, my podge it down in the center of my little, um, that's ceramic, y'all, or something. It's, um, it feels like the little terracotta pods, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I'm going to take my marker and make little squigglies and dots all the way around my frame after it dries. Because I put my podge all over the whole thing. And I don't want to show y'all, everybody, I hope I didn't. Oh, anyway, then I'm going to make some, uh, little yellow circles and then i'm gonna draw me some little flowers on there um yeah just a couple little different flowers and then i'm gonna paint them in that's that big marker from the um well that that one oh i'm gonna put some yellow dots on that big old fat marker i got from the family dollar for a dollar y'all <clears throat> it's a paint pen anyway who sorry y'all can't breathe yeah that's it and i'm just gonna put little white dots on it too i just trying to make it cute see i smudged that one dot i just seen that oh my goodness i put way too many dots there oh wow i that looks like it's got the measles don't it oh goodness see i can't do dots i go hog wild i go completely stupid every time i do dots oh gosh this isn't the first time y'all watch me go nuts with dots so, anyway, I left that in because I have no clue, you know, because I can't edit my videos. Oh, and I'm showing it to you, I guess, but okay. So, I'm going to take those little beads and I'm going to um, I paint all them in that cottage white. And I'm going to take my 
a little flower pot, a little wood flower pot that Miss Rose Turner sent me. Look at that. And um, the Dollar Tree has them. And I'm going to paint it in that mustard yellow. And then I'm going to I'm going I'm 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 take that white paint pen and make little white dots around the top of it. And then I take a um, Sharpie or something. I don't know. Put a little black dots on the bottom of it. And then here I go. Dotting again. Oh, <laughs> Oh no! And I put a <laughs> gee whiz! I put a flower on top of my little picture frame, and and um, my oh, it's got a lot of dots, you guys. Seriously, I don't even know. Please don't stop watching me. Please don't stop watching. They get better as they go. I promise. Anyway, um, and I'm just gonna take fix <laughs> fix off. Oh, gosh. Again, thanks, Rose. And uh, <clears throat> hot glue and glue that together. And it came out cute, but it is dotty. It is very dotty. Especially on the bottom of the picture. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, y'all. Right here. I'm going to take some tumbling tire blocks and some fix all glue and glue them together. And I'm going to glue three side by side and then one across the bottom of it. Right there, I only did three, and I realized this ain't big enough. So, there. See? <clears throat> and I just used that fix all to do it. And then I'm going to take that fix all and put it on my little calendar piece. Yep. And that one is so cute. It says Honey Farm or something like that, and it is adorable. But I'm going to take... Um, that is the, the Mother's Day one with the burlap around it, but I'm going to take him... Uh, little white beads I painted, and I'm going to put them all the way around my um little frame there on top of that burlap, and then I'm going to paint my uh, tumbling tower blocks and fill in where, anyway, my and then I'm just going to take some black uh, paint and dust it on them white beads, and I'm going to take a piece of uh, buffalo check fabric, for, and I'm going to cut it four by four, the size of that picture, but I'm going to fray it out, see, like that, it's really cute, y'all. And, um, I'm going to cut the strings off because I don't want to look too awful bad. But I want to look pretty rough. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take entirely too much Mod Podge. But you need a lot of Mod Podge for the material, but you didn't need as much as I put down. And I'm going to hot glue my fabric there in the center. <clears throat> and I take four more of those beads and I put them in the corners of my sign. And then take four and put them... And I think, yeah, in the corners of my little thing there. And I take a bunch of hot glue. And I hot glue it down. And I paint those silver. I don't know why, but I did. And I think this is adorable. And that farm fresh honey, that's what it is. That is so cute. I I love that. And, you know, you've got the big calendar pieces, too. You can make pictures with free. I mean, I'm going to do that for my kitchen. Because I got one corner I like to decorate different than the rest. So, that fabric is so pretty. I got that from the Dollar Tree, y'all. And I'm going to cut a piece out of it. But I got my my glass piece from my little um picture frame. And I just measured it out. And I'm going to take the little picture thing. It says name or whatever. I don't know. That white thing that came in the picture frame, and I'm going to put uh, an amber glue stick all over it, and I'm going to glue my little um, piece of fabric down, and I made sure I cut out the hive because I wanted the hive in the picture, you know, and then um, I just put my frame back together, and I'm going to take them stickers that I painted yellow, and I just put them around my little frame like that, and then I'm going to take some little honeybees. These are easy, guys. And they needed to be because I just, no, yeah. Anyway, and that's all I had left, that honeycomb uh, ribbon. So I just hot glued like like that, hot glued it. And then took some jute and tied it in the middle. And then I take and make a little jute bow. <clears throat> and I glued that on, on the top uh, yeah, corner there of my little picture frame. And then I'm going to take um, the little jute bow and glue it down. And then I'm going to glue another little bear in the center. And that's it, y'all. And it's so cute. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. I just think that's adorable. 
Oh, no, that is just too pretty. Anyway, so, yeah. Okay, this fabric, oh, fabric, oh, I can't talk, fabric, fabric, it is gorgeous, y'all. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. I love it, I love it. I wish I had a bunch of rolls of it, but anyway, I just started cutting little pictures, y'all love it, and that little picture is so cute with that little honey pot. I love that, and I got that ribbon from Miss Rose Turner. Thank you, Miss Rose Turner, and anyway, I'm going to um, cut it and um, make me... You'll see. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to cut two pieces there. And um, I got to make, I got to see if Jesse wants in, y'all. And um, I cut off. You see what I did? It's easier for me to just let y'all watch and try to explain it because I can't explain easy things, let alone things that's more. Okay, see there? And I just made it wide enough to fit there. And I just hot glue it all down. And um, after I get it where I want it. And then, um, yeah, so I have to see where where whereabouts it's gonna fit, and then I slide my other piece under there and see where it needs to be, and then I'm gonna hot glue it down because I don't want it to be um, crooked and wonky, you know. Well, hello, Miss Jessie, and then yeah, then I just lift that up and hot glue that. Oh, I know it's crooked there, but you can't see it. Yeah, look. Oh, isn't that cute? And then I take that um. That lot like, little burlap trim stuff that Miss Rose sent me, and um, I think it's cute. And I was gonna run it across the bottom. Well, I do, and um, I'm gonna show you which one I use. I think nope, no, I didn't, cause that's how I roll. But I put one of them on upside down, so I had to. It's the top one. I did that one right, and then I go put it across the top. And I didn't know you could put it upside down, um, but you can. It's different on each side. So I just flopped it over and doubled it over, and then I just put another piece across the bottom down there. This one's adorable, too, y'all. I think these are cute. Now, the first two, eh, meh, anyway. But, um, you guys, I feel just so much better talking to y'all. I just, I just, it's awesome. I just love y'all, and I truly, truly miss y'all, and I truly love y'all. But I'm going to take a couple of those little flowers that I got from um, they were Dollar Tree in the fall last year, year before last sometime. And I cut out some little tiny leaves and I glued them in the bottom corner. And then I made me a little gingham bow. And ain't that adorable? Welcome to our hive. I think that is just too cute, y'all. Yes, I do. I mean, you could put these on a tear tray or just set them on a shelf somewhere, you know. Um, I plan on both because I'm going to be making more, but, um, I know some of y'all been wanting to see some, um, patriotic stuff. I haven't done any this year, but of course I've been laying in my house rotting. But anyway, <clears throat> what one is that one? Oh, that's the one that had the little succulent in it. So I'm just going to paint, um, I'm not, yeah, see, I'm going to leave the back part black and paint and the outside of it black, but paint the you see. <laughs> and look how cute. I'm going to cut that one out. I think that one's adorable, too. Y'all, I'm telling you. You do so much with that fabric. Because I it just... Anyway, I'm going to take me a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to take me some uh, craft sticks. And I'm going to cut out two pieces of cardboard. And I'll glue them together. And I just glue them together with a glue stick, I believe, y'all. Um... Yeah, and then um, I am going to use that same glue stick and glue my fabric on. See? Mm-hmm. Yep. You know what? I did that with um, an Easter sign two years ago with that glue stick, and it's still staying, which really surprised me. Even burlap. I glued it on with glued burlap on with that, and it's still staying. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm just going to make me a little frame with my little... um. Uh, craft sticks there, and then um, I paint those white. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, I want to show you the whole thing. You just mark it, lay it down there, and mark it, and you can see what size you need to cut it. And if you mess it up, cut you another one because I did mess that one up. I cut it too short, not that one, but another one. And so, or maybe that one, I don't remember. <clears throat> 
yeah, that one was too short, so I cut another one. And I painted it white. And I dropped a ton of hot glue in there. And I set it down in there. Yep. And then I put me a little bead down on the bottom there. I, I'm, I'm learning what I'm doing watching y'all. I mean watching y'all. Watching this too. Oh, and then I took that honeybee ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I just made make two loops. Make your bunny ears and Tom in and out. And, and just made me a little bow. And I glued it to the center of my little picture there. <clears throat> and uh, I cut the tails off. I don't know why I cut the ribbon so long, but I did. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Isn't that cute? I like how, um, that's just cute. I like the color of it, and I like how it, I don't know, and then I think that other color just brought it out and made it pop out of there, and I just think that's adorable, y'all. Okay, right here, this one's a bit longer. I got those little flower pots from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to get the stickers off of it. That green sticker did not want to come off, but I'm going to cut off the um, edge there, the lip of it, just cut around it, and it, okay, you guys, I don't know. Yeah, tell you, here I'm just going to take my scissors and clean that up a little bit. But I take my heat tool here. I actually tried to mail it together, and it doesn't work. So, <laughs> all I did was melt it, not together. Anyway, <coughs> so I take some, I mean, it worked a little tiny bit, but I just take some uh, masking tape here. And I'm just going to tape all around it. And I put too much tape, but that's okay. I taped it up. And I did take my um, little uh, heat tool here and melt, like, where the tape was bumped up. Um, Y'all don't have to do that. I was just, I don't know, just playing mainly. But I got that hat, um, oh, well, forever ago. And I'm just going to take the, the seam all up there and just rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. And I'm going to, like, yeah, rip it down small enough where I can have that to sit on top there. You see what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'm going to hot glue that down, and, um, oh, you guys, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, there we go, and I'm just going to start wrapping it. Now, um, at first, I had to, like, glue and put it, put it, <laughs> put, put it up under that, um, yeah, that part. I don't know, y'all, y'all see what I'm doing. But you just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. But when you get to the um, bumps, and like I wrapped it like halfway up every time because I didn't want it to like bump up or come off or nothing like that because it is where the hat is rounded. That stuff does bend a little bit. But here, oh, Lord, sound like Peter Brady when he was getting his man voice going through puberty. Here, um, you have to glue it every time like around because it will pop up like over those bumps and then you get good again and you don't have to glue it everywhere but then down towards that bottom you have to do it again so really you, you almost glue it all the way around yeah every time so yeah I just wanted to I just melted it down there with my glue gun and yeah so here I end up cutting it because but you don't have to do anything I shouldn't have even tried to put anything on the bottom of there because it just is stupid because it's not going to be showing. But I cut it so I could bend it round, round, round. Yeah. So, anyway, if you want to do that, you can. If not, just don't. It, even if, if you even make it, I don't know. So, anyway. um, Okay. And I'm going to take and I'm going to paint it in that hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly. And then I'm going to take me one of them candy dishes and I'm going to take the stickers off of it. I'm going to take some painter's tape and uh, start at the edge of the top of the candy dish and paint it all the way around. So the bottom half um, is what I'm going to be painting. So I'm going to paint it all in black. I, I don't know if that's folk art black chalk paint pure black or whatever it's called or waverly ink i just don't have a clue but anyway it's, it's painting one to those and <laughs> i'm gonna take that vintage mustard that's my folk art and i'm gonna paint that um ribbon that metal ribbon and um yeah 
and it's going to take my tape off here, and I always take it off when it's wet because I don't want to pull my paint off. And then, um, y'all, I have no clue what I was just doing. Oh, I got one of them little wood rings. Uh, mine came from Amazon, but I know Dollar Tree sells them, but I painted it in black, and I'm going to hot glue it to my uh, bee skeep there, beehive, or bee, whatever y'all want to call it. And uh, then after I get it on there, I'm going to take that uh, chalk paint, that black chalk paint, and I'm going to paint the inside of my hole. Black, yep. Easy peasy. And then I take my heat tool, and I burn a hole in the bottom of it, and I burn it entirely too big because <laughs> I get excited. But anyway... And I take a skewer and stick it up in there. And then I'm going to take and dump. Well, I have to get one that's bigger because my hole was so big. But I dump a ton of hot glue down in there. And then I, um, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I cut it off. But I ended up having to cut it more. It was still too long. And, um, yeah, dump that hot glue down in there. And then stick my stick down in it. And, it, and uh, yeah, it, it held pretty good. Well, it's still holding. And um, put some hot glue around the hole there I did. Yep. Anyway. And then I'm going to take and glue some little bees to it. Little teeny tiny bees. I think this is cute. Getting them stickers off the bottom of those things is a pain in the hind end. It really is, y'all. It is a pain in the butt. Anyway, and then my ribbon... I take and I like try to bend it like that, like form it to make it go in a circle so it's not so hard to get glued on there. And I just take some fix all and some hot glue, just a dab dab of hot glue. And I put my ribbon down there and then I clamp it to hold it in place. And then I wrap it around. And um, I think. I think I kept that pinned overnight. I don't remember, y'all. I'm trying to think. I kept it pinned for maybe just a few hours. I don't remember. I really don't. Like I said, this has been done. Anyway, and I'm going to take some of that uh, foam there, floral foam from the Dollar Tree, the round ones, and I'm going to uh, hot glue those two pieces together. And then I'm going to glue them. Look, I dripped hot glue everywhere. And then I'm going to glue them down inside my candy dish. Maybe. Yeah. See, that's why I like the speed on the other editing thing because you can make it go much faster. But anyway, and I'm just going to poke a hole in there where I need to put my little um, bee home and um, trying to get it center. And then I'm going to dump a hot, lot of hot glue down in there. And I'm going to set it down in there. And then... Um, I'm going to take this home. Now, y'all, I got it off a Dollar Tree sign. I got a bunch of those little words laying around. Wooden ones and everything. But I spray painted it white right in my craft room. I don't do that. But anyway, and I bent it to form it some. And I'm going to take some super glue. I just got two cups set beside. I kind of hold it, hold it up there. And uh, I'm going to take some, uh, a lot of super glue, apparently, um, I really, really, really sucked it to it. But then a little bit of um, hot glue. And you could actually pin that on there to stay. But um, when I put, if you don't use hot glue. But I put those little dots of hot glue. And it kind of like held it in place while it dried. So I just put that on the front. Yep. And like I said, I have no clue where it came from, y'all. And I'm going to take me some fairy lights here. And I'm going to fold them in half. And I'm going to tape that one end. And then I'm going to take some scotch tape and stick them down in there and run them in a circle and tape them down. I even take scotch tape and tape my little um, switch down in there and um, in the back and keep it in place. And going to wrap our lights in. Oh my goodness, y'all. What am I doing? I could not. I tape. I was an absolute mess with it. I had to use 87 pieces. Look at my red big nose. Look at it sticking out there. Oh, no. Hold on, y'all. Anyway, I had to delete that, y'all. Anyway, I lost footage on this one. I just don't know. But I just put flowers down in there I like. Those come from the Walmart. Um, little sunflowers. But I just took little yellow and white flowers that I found. But I, I will show you 
Um, yeah. So, see that big bushel of flowers there? They had lemons on them. I got those year before last. They was on sale for 75 cents. I got them in the fall because they're spring flowers, summer flowers, whatever. And I just cut those little white things off. And they got little curly cute things and the cute little white. Anyway, and I just put those down in there. And, um, yeah, I just didn't have all. I lost the footage where I finished and did the entire thing because, uh, yeah, I probably wasn't even recording. I don't know if I lost the footage or just wasn't recording. But anyway, um, yeah, I thought I'd explain that to you. But probably left too much of that in, too. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all. Anyway, so now I can't see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, well, never mind. Here it is. Oh, I put those little mossy rocks down in there y'all to hide that um styrofoam and um i don't know if my lights are on or off but i think that's just cute look at my little uh beehive up in there i got one of those those little things are going all over the place but little bees all over it, and i just think it's adorable hope y'all like it too okay here's another one of those little signs that's one of their mother's day one i think i don't remember but um i paint that yellow there and um it's vintage mustard by folk art and I cut a, I love, love, love that picture, that B picture there in that calendar. And I'm just going to take that purple glue and I'm going to glue it down, um, or school glue, whatever. And I take these bees and I line them up the way I thought that I wanted to put them. Um, I lined them up to see how I wanted to put, how I wanted them. And I was going to do a big, thick arrow. I, I changed my mind. So I just did a little tiny, thin arrow pointing up. And then I take my, um, one of my yellow acrylic paint things here, and I just make little bee dots like it's flying in the spot like he's late for work, but they're showing where the, um, the honey's for sale at. They're pointing toward it, so, and then I just double over, um, my lines to make them thicker, and I just take and make a little finger bow here, and here's where everybody get uh, uh, caught up with it. When, once you bring it up and around, you slide it like, see, go in and under, like, see, like, did y'all see? Um, that's where everybody keeps making mistakes. They get it wrapped around their fingers okay, but they're having a hard time with that part. And you slide it. I hope y'all could see it and it'd be better. But I just made a little gingham bow, and I glued a little bee to it. And here it is, y'all, and I think that's adorable. Oh, ain't that pretty? I hope y'all like it too. And hopefully, um, it, it will only be a week, y'all. It will not be a month this time. Just pray for me. Pray I get better. But um, for my next video, I meant. So right here, I'm gonna take one of them little candle pillars and one of them cake plates from Dollar Tree. Now this one I totally messed up, and I just want to punch myself in the face. <laughs> but I think I'm smart enough to not do that. But anyway, um, I'm taking that sticker off, and I know y'all did not need to see that, but I did it, you know, because who knows why. So, I don't know. Hold on, y'all. I got to get rid of this, too. Anyway, so I paint the bottom of that black, which ended up being the purpose defeated, but um, I had, I, actually, I was going to do one thing, and then I was like, oh, no, I just lost my shoe. Um, oh, no, never mind. So, I paint the bottom of it. And first, I was going to do bee stuff. And then, I was like, oh, I could make that look like a flower. So, if you just, like, put little black specks and then paint it a brown, it looked like a sunflower. Or put brown specks and paint it black. And anyway, but I paint the bottom of it. I was like, oh, that's cute. But mine was all scuffed up. Look at that. And, um, and I think it looks like a cute little sunflower. But anyway, I take some fix-all. Thanks, Rose. And, um, I put it on the bottom of my candle pillar and my, um, plate there. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm rude. And then I take hot glue and I glue one of those blessed things. Because if I glued the round side on the bottom, it would have fit better. But, y'all, watch how much hot glue you put there. Because I thought I was going to melt that candle pillar completely through that plastic plate. <laughs> anyway, and here... Um, this is where I messed up. I don't know why I did it. I'm just not thinking straight or something. But I glued my 
I'm making my ruffles there on that leg, not around the top part the way I should, but around that ledge. But anyway, y'all, I'm like, that looks dumb. But anyway, so <laughs> if you glue your ribbon down and then glue <coughs> a piece of it, fold it back, glue it to the back part there, right? See? Hopefully I can show you how to make these ruffles. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then... Okay, glue another little piece. Lay your ribbon down flat. Glue it to it. Put some more glue down. Fold it back into it. See? And that's all you do. And then put more glue down. Lay it down in it. And then you have to put glue there on the back of your ribbon. I think I'll show you better here without my big fingers in the way. Maybe not. See? Glue. Fold. More glue and fold again. And there's how you get your ruffles. But I meant to put it around the plate at the top, y'all. And I, it's, who knows why I do what I do. And <coughs> sticking it, <coughs> excuse me, down around the bottom. And I was like, that looks ridiculous. So I think I'm just going to take. <sighs> oh, gosh, I feel awful, you guys. This fabric you're going to see me use here in a bit. And I'm going to go around the edge of the plate. And then maybe that will hang down and you'll have, you can see both. But anyway, I just want to make sure my ribbon's laying flat there. But that's all you do to make your ruffles all the way around it. Oh, goodness. Anyway. So. And at the end. I like to, um. Sorry. Fold it again and then, and glue it down. Then cut a piece off and then make like a little um, seam area. You know what I mean? Like a, yeah, that is a, that'd be what it's called. Not a hem, a hem and a skirt. I don't know. Seam, I don't know. Y'all know what I mean right here? Fold it over and then glue that little folded piece. And um, then I. <laughs> oh, no. I fold it back once. And then glue it down and attach those two pieces together. And then it looks seamless all the way around. Gee whiz. <sighs> See? <laughs> it does, I promise. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh, no. So I'm going to take that bee fabric I got from the Dollar Tree and that wreath form. And I just take an ink pen and I trace it. That's all I do. Then I'm going to measure and find the center because even though I trace it, I was like, I know I will cut it wonky and I don't want to do that because I was going to be cutting two pieces and I wanted them to be as close as to the same size as possible. Well, to start off with, I should have ironed my fabric before I done this, but I did not. So I ended up ironing it after I cut it, but I fold it in half on that line that I made and then I go ahead and cut it round and then... I ended up with a pretty good party. <laughs> anyway, pretty good circle that way. And I take that um fabric with the beehive on it. <laughs> Can't talk. Easy for me to say, huh? And I do the same thing. That's it. And then um cut it out. And then, then I iron them. I'm so sorry. One is actually underneath the other one. But the, um, uh, I don't know. I have no clue, y'all. Oh, that glue is supposed to be, like, equivalent to fabric tack glue. And I don't know, but I must cut my thing too big because it just squeezed a giant blob out of, I mean, a ginormous blob. So, of course, I had to wipe that off. But, anyway, just make sure you get your edges real good and, um, Get some glue in the center. It don't have to be a whole big time. But, you know, um, I just glued that down and I put those together. And I take my um, my roller and I roll them. You don't have to. But I was just getting glue all over my hands. And I'm like, ugh. But I laid them between two calendar pieces. Two calendars. Oh, they still had the plastic on them. And uh, I left it laid there for about four hours. And kept it smashed down flat. And then I... um took it out and let it finish drying and then um i take that 
those balls, I can't, that trim there, I don't know, I can't think of the name of it, anyway, and I go around the outside, on my B side, I know y'all, right, and then, I take this burlap trim, that, that one, it's pretty, and I go around the B side, but listen, where that's straight, it's going to want to bump up. But if you just do little tiny sections at a time, you can do it and it not like bump up. You know what I mean? <laughs> because it's not round. Um, and it's going... <sighs> anyway. Yeah, do that. That's what I mean right there. See? Anyway. And there that is. And there it is without anything, which looks stupid because I need to move that hem. And then there's the one side of the... And then there's the other side, and I think that's cute. I think it'd be much better after I fix it, but yeah, there it is. That's adorable. Here's everything, y'all. Oh, wow. I know that wasn't fast. Trust me, I know it wasn't, because this video is forever long, but I got so many DIYs in it. But um, I miss you guys so, so much, and I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And um, I'm going to try real, real hard just to... Uh, make sure I can keep up getting videos out. Sometimes it's hard on me, but just stay with me, guys, please. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.